Hey guys, good afternoon. This is Ben the Broker with Compass. So we have a, a little lesson today that we're gonna go over. This is really geared towards sellers, but if you're, if you're a buyer, um, you can pick up on some of these things when you're walking through homes and you'll kind of see, you know, which homes sell faster and for more money. Um, and so, you know, first thing we're looking at for, for sellers is uh, getting the right help. It all starts with the right help. And, you know, some people want to try and sell their house themselves. By all means, go for it. Knock yourself out of the park. But if you're focused on the net income you derive from the sale, you obviously won't pay anything in commissions if you're not paying the buyer's agent a commission, uh, but you're also going to sell it for, you know, rock bottom price because the professionals probably will not show your home if you're not compensating them. Um, so who should you interview? You should interview, I recommend at least three brokers or agents. And this is kind of a comprehensive list here. Uh, I don't want to uh, forget anyone on this list, but the first person that I'd want to interview is the number one uh, broker or agent in my county. Uh, they have a, a track record of experience and success. They've seen the good, the bad, the ugly, uh, and really all the people who I'm, I'm going to recommend you interview have tremendous experience, and that's what you're paying these people for. Uh, is to help you make the right decisions at the right time uh, and avoid you from you know losing money in, in other aspects. Uh, so outside of the top agent in the county, I would interview uh, the number one broker or agent in your city. And you know if you're in a big city, say like San Francisco, uh, I'd recommend interviewing the number one broker agent in your specific neighborhood. Uh, maybe you're in the marina, Noe Valley, um, there's agents who do more of their business in certain parts of the city, north or south. Uh, and, you know, for, for areas where there's slight nuances in neighborhoods, comps, uh, they know the inventory, they know the buyers, they know the agents, um, there's, there's value there. Uh, and then I'd interview the number one agent in your county at Compass. And the reason I, I mention Compass is they have three things that are, are really important right now. So one is they have a concierge service where they will uh, front the cost of up to 5% of the value of your home in, in prep. So if your home is, uh, you know, estimated value of 2 million, 5% of 2 million is 100,000. They will give you $100,000 to do all the prep you want, landscape, paint, etc. You know, if you want to use that money in a different way, pay off credit cards, student loans, etc., you by all means could. Uh, and then at the close of escrow, when your home actually sells, you will refund Compass the money you borrowed at zero interest. So it's basically like free money, and the goal is to help you sell your home for top dollar. And the goal is to help you pay for prep work that you wouldn't have been able to without that money. So an alternative would be paying 20% on your credit card. Well, we don't want that to happen. We want to keep as much money in our seller's pockets as possible. So uh, I, I have two listings right now, um, and both of those sellers have exercised the Compass Concierge option, uh, and I'm working on a third listing right now, and, and the seller just feels like it's, it's a great situation and will probably sign up as well. Um, so whether you need the money or not, it's really an amazing program. They also have a bridge loan service, uh, that will pay for the first six months of the bridge loan payments. Uh, so that's really, really helpful when you're, you know, potentially have your existing home and your future home that you're moving into. So that can kind of reduce the burden of your financial expenses until you sell your existing home um, and you can, you can pay off that Compass Bridge Loan. Uh, and then they also have the the highest amount of top agents uh, in uh, Marin County, in San Francisco Bay Area. Um, I'm not too sure about California, but I, I feel like that's the case. I think they've they've really captured the high end luxury market because their their product is you know really the best in the business. Um, so those relationships that those agents form at Compass uh, can get, really go a long way for for the seller. Uh, and then, you know, Redfin has a great business model. 
Uh, so I def definitely recommend you interview the number one agent at, uh, at Redfin in your county. Uh, you know, Redfin has an excellent digital marketing presence. Um, they have a lower fee. Uh, they also have a concierge service. They won't write you a check, but they will pay for staging and cleaning. Um, and so you want to see what that person's track record is and, and what their success is compared to, you know, maybe a compass agent. And, uh, and then you have kind of all your bases covered. Obviously, if you don't want to go through five interviews, you know, don't don't bother. Um, but I'm I'm all about education and making informed decisions. And I think that when you go through this list, you know, you could just interview one agent a day for you know an hour or two. Um, I think you know, take your time. A week later, you'll be able to make the best choice for you to know you know who that agent is who's going to deliver the best results for you. Um, so step two of steps for success is, is to not just hire this agent, but to actually follow their advice. Uh, you don't wanna hire one of these agents and then go, you know, hey, it's my way or the highway. The reason you're hiring the professional is for their advice. That advice is going to make you tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, so these, these brokers and agents have something in common, uh, and it's it's kind of that they're all going to give you very similar advice. And the reason why they give you very similar advice is because there's a formula that works time and time again, and that consistent formula uh, is really what you want to to grasp and put in your pocket. And you want to be the next seller in line who has those amazing results. So properly preparing your home, what does that consist of? We touched on it yesterday, uh, but really you start from, from the curb, looking out at the house. What's the curb appeal like? How's the landscape? You know, is it a, is it a multi-million dollar property and the driveway's chopped up? Hey, let's get an estimate to replace the driveway. A new driveway could be a really big statement piece. How do the exterior light fixtures work? What's the front door look like? The doorbell, the mailbox, the garage door. Uh, all that stuff goes into curb appeal and, and really first impressions. Um, and then we're gonna go inside the house and we're gonna look at the floors. Can we refinish the floors? Can we put in new carpet? Do we need all new floors? Uh, we almost always need exterior and interior paint. Um, and then how are the kitchen counters? Are they, are they old? Are they laminate? Uh, do we need to replace that with maybe some quartz countertops? Um, how's the how's the electrical work inside, the light fixtures? Um, and once we kind of get all that dialed in, then it's really just coming down to cleaning, window washing, uh, and professional staging. And professional staging makes a huge impact on first impressions, photos, you know, creates a sense of warmth when you go to the property in person. So the more views we can get online on your home, the more buyers we're gonna get to see your home in person, and hopefully the more offers we're gonna get you and a higher sales price. So everything kind of lines up for a reason, and there's a, there's a system here that, that you know, works, and we don't wanna mess with that system. So outside of staging, the last thing we're gonna do is order inspections, and the reason why we're gonna order inspections is, is we want the buyer to have all the information about your property condition up front before they submit an offer, before you accept an offer. So all that information is already disclosed and it's non-negotiable after the offer is accepted. So some of those inspection reports are a home inspection, termite inspection, roof inspection, and if you're on a sewer, then a sewer lateral inspection. If you're on septic, a septic inspection. Uh, and then, you know, other specialized inspections like a chimney inspection if you have a fireplace and a pool, of course, if you only have a pool. Uh, so I think that kind of covers it for today. Uh, tomorrow we're going to go into detail on properly pricing your home. If you guys have any questions about uh, any of this stuff, properly preparing for success, uh, give me a call or shoot me an email. I'm Ben the Broker.